Hello, my name is uh, Chief Gibby Jacob. My ancestral name is Cockleton Siam. I am a hereditary chief for the Squamish Nation. The importance of the Four Hosts First Nations is that it's unprecedented involvement of indigenous peoples in a colonized country in the games. The Squamish are a Coast Salish group. Uh, our traditional lands are really derived from the watersheds of the Squamish, the Chiakmish, the uh, Indian River, and on the Sunshine Coast, uh, as far as Roberts Creek. So all of the, to the height of the lands and the height of the mountains is our traditional lands. Through our revenue generation, we protect our culture and enhance it so that what we're doing is bringing it back, our language, and we're closing that circle under our own terms. That to me is the most significant thing that we're doing. Squamish's business philosophy revolves around pretty much land development. You know, protection is always the first thing for us, protector, protecting of our cultural ways, our values, our principles, and of course the environment. Well, New Haven, our, our main project focus is wood. Pretty much all the projects for First Nations health centers, schools, daycares, uh, elders facilities, all wood structures. So we've uh, utilized our company for buildings such as our own, uh, the Squamish Lillowat Cultural Center. Well, we wanted to uh, put both uh, Squamish and Lillowat uh, types of dwellings. Uh, this particular main building being a Coast Salish modernized version of a longhouse. And the Ishkin, the pit house, is what the uh, Lillowat people traditionally lived in in the bygone eras. And, so both, both of our uh, styles of living were, are represented within the one facility here. So it's a great thing. So it's good to show the world that you know, our Aboriginal rights and who we are wasn't frozen in time when contact came, but it has now brought into a modern context. There's really no knowledge of who and what we are as a people, you know, and especially this area here. You know, people see art and they, you know, that's the identifier for the North Northwest. But there's structures like these, our longhouses, our cultures are so different. My language in Skoltmish is totally different than our neighbors who are 100 miles away. Most people don't know that. This is one of the most linguistically diverse areas in the world. Well, when the world uh, comes here for the Olympic and Paralympic Games, uh, the view of our two nations is that uh, you know we want to showcase who we are, you know, also always explaining where we came from, who we are as a people, again bringing ourselves up to today. Well, my parting message to all of the people who will be leaving is that we'd like you to come back because First Nations are now attempting to share their cultures, their songs, and their dances with the rest of the world to educate people. So my suggestion is you come back and we will be linked up with all of the other cultural facilities that First Nations in our great province has and hopefully beyond into the uh, eastern part of our country and the northern part of our country. There are many great things to see and to learn. Maybe we'll even get you up to dance. <laughs>